today's video, I am actually going to be talking about something that I have covered in a different video that has now been deleted. Um, so I deleted the previous video on this topic because I did not like the quality of that video. Um, I actually recorded that video on my iPhone and I love the camera on this phone um, and the video quality. However, somewhere in between uploading the video from my phone to my laptop, um, the quality had diminished somehow. Um, so needless to say, I'm re-recording this video and going to cover some um, things that have happened. So a few months ago, my boyfriend and I purchased a house together and we both really love this house. I know that I absolutely love having my own house. It was such an accomplishment. The house itself is beautiful and we could not be more grateful and blessed and happy. However, that does not change the fact that there has been some weird things to have occurred in our home. So I'll go ahead and just kind of jump right into some of the weird things that have happened. So. Not long after moving into this house, my boyfriend and I both started to experience some very weird dreams. So, a little background on our home and it's kind of like its layout, so to speak. I have my own office slash film room in this house. Um, so one of the extra rooms is my office slash film room and when you're standing in the kitchen, you can see through my film room into the hall into our bedroom. So that will come into play and be important for the story that I'm about to explain. So my boyfriend had a nightmare one night. Um, he explained to me that in this dream nightmare um, he had, he was standing at our back door looking through my film room and there's two doors, one that leads from the kitchen into the film room, and then there's a door that also leads into the film room from the hallway. So the room has two different doors in it, and that's the room I'm actually filming in right now, obviously. So in his dream, he was standing at the back door, and he was looking through the film room. It was dark, and he said he saw a woman in the dream that had a very the grudge type look to her, um, but he just saw her from behind, just long dark hair. Um, I think he may have even said like a white dress kind of deal. And in the dream for some reason he thought it was me, but he was standing at the back door looking through the film room and the girl is walking the opposite way towards the other door that you can exit and enter my film room from. And the girl is slowly walking towards that door. The lights are off, it's dark. Um, very creepy explanation. Um, she goes through the door and then the door just slams shut. And then he turned around because he thought that there was something behind him. He thought for some reason there was someone standing behind him and he turned back around. And then the door the girl had went through was then standing wide open she was gone and the lights were still off, if I'm explaining his dream correctly. Um, so that is what happened with his nightmare. And then I had one not even a night or two later involving the same room, which is my film room slash office space. Coincidentally, also the room that I keep all of my ghost hunting equipment, all of my uh, tarot cards and things like that. Um, a lot of energy from my previous home, which if you saw in my previous videos, had a lot of paranormal activity in it. So there's just a lot of different theories I have for maybe why this room is so active. Um, so then in my nightmare, I had, um, I was standing just like he was at the back door looking through the film room and I could see into our bedroom from there. There was a blanket on the bed. Um, previously in the dream, when I was in the room, the blanket was snatched off the bed and thrown onto the ground, thus causing me to freak out to go to the back door. And then from the back door, I was looking through the film room into our bedroom, 
and it looked like something was like manipulating the blanket. I know that sounds silly, but in the dream it was very scary. Um, and it looked like you could see hands through the blanket. And the blanket was going like a shooing motion, like a leave, get out kind of motion. And then I'm freaking out, scared. Um, and I look back at it again and then it's going like this, like saying goodbye. So that was very scary. Um, and then speaking of activity in my office space slash film room, um, that Reality Ripple app that some of you may have seen um, on TikTok and everything, I actually tried that app and it's supposed to like kind of highlight energy. Um, so if you put it over your legs or arms, it will highlight you. Um, it does the same for animals, anything that's like living or giving off energy or something. And a lot of people believe it detects energy of spirits. So I walked through the whole house with this app going and didn't catch anything. And then when I was in my office space, it was highlighting so many things in here. And I just thought that was kind of weird, but that was about all there was to that. So just kind of interesting to note. And then some other weird things have been happening. Um, one night when I was laying down, my boyfriend was squatted on the ground in the living room plugging something in and he said that he saw what looked like a small black mass dart by him and he thought that was weird and then I think he said literally just a minute or so later he seen like something transparent and he didn't really know how to describe the shape but it was just some kind of transparent um, mass of some sort move by in front of him as well. So that was very creepy. Um, just several things such as that have happened here. Um, lately, nothing really has stuck out. I say that and then something's probably going to happen, but I guess that will be an update video. Um, but for the most part, those are the things that have happened. Um, I can't say for sure that it's this house. Um, we are right by um, a forest and woods, um, I guess you would say, and I think this specific area may harbor some energy, um, as well as I do believe things follow me around, and um, you know, I do attract spirits and such, and I really can't say what's going on or what any of this activity has been from, but um, nothing feels evil, nothing feels negative it's just been some weird things we can explain uh, obviously the dreams kind of felt evil and negative but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's anything that's stuck around because since then things have felt fine um but i will keep you guys updated i know i feel like this video has kind of been a little bit all over the place but it's just been so much to remember at once and go over um and just it's just so much especially when you get thinking about it and it's been a while since I've filmed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. I will update you all if anything else happens um, in an update video. Um, hopefully I will have some new paranormal investigations coming up. Um, so with that said, if you came across this channel, um, you like this video or any of my other content, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video. Um, the support means the world to me. You can comment if you wish. And other than that, um, I will give you guys an update if anything else happens. So um, again, feel free to subscribe and just keep watching.